Hello, EOS Nation. Welcome back. This is episode 36 of the EOS Hot Sauce. I'm your guest host, Ash Aura from EOS Radio, and I've got a spicy one for you this week. We'll be discussing Block One's new resource allocation proposal, EOS VC grants, the WAX OIG December report, also Liquid Apps, Immortal Dapps, Dach EOS, Give Nation, Emanate Partnerships, Start EOS is Acorn, EOS Event Rankings, Crown's Dacathon, WordProof, which we implemented a long time ago on Freedom Proxy, Tippet, and Upland. Remember that EOS Hot Sauce is available in every format. You can watch it on YouTube, listen on SoundCloud, listen on Apple Podcasts, or your favorite podcast player of choice. Subscribe to the EOS Nation newsletter at eosnation.io and don't miss a single episode. So let's get into it. Block One continues to ship code as we've seen for a long time now. Block One releases more information regarding their new EOS IO resource allocation proposal, which was prompted from observing the results from a massive surge in Rex loans in early November. The increase in demand for network resources was so great that Rex ran out of available resources, although less than half of the network resources were actually being utilized. Dan Larmer is not perfect, but one of his strengths is that he does not succumb to the sunk cost fallacy. If a design or product of his is not producing the intended results, he has no problems removing the flawed design, no matter how much time he spent building it. As evidenced by the recent article, Dan Larimer and his army of Block 1 engineers were quick to both come up with a new solution and produce code for the new solution. Many community members were pleasantly surprised last week when Block 1 published both a detailed article describing the new resource allocation proposal and the associated code that's been included in the latest release candidate. Block producers have already deployed the code on the Jungle testnet and are in the testing phase. Once properly tested, we expect block producers to deploy the system on the EOS public network. Block One also grabbed the community's attention with the unveiling of a new grant program. The program encourages EOS IO contributors to apply for a grant that could be worth up to $50,000 for work that benefits EOS IO networks. So this isn't just for our EOS mainnet, but also for other chains. There was some initial confusion regarding whether or not someone associated with a block producer on a public EOS IO network could apply for funding or not. Brandon Bloomer took to Twitter to clarify that such a person could actually apply for a grant as long as those funds are not used for block production or securing the network, since block producers are already paid for this function via block rewards. Shout out to my brother and co-host of EOS Radio, Zane for asking that question to Brandon on Twitter. Our last piece of exciting Block One news for this week is that we learned that Dan Larimer has been confirmed as a keynote speaker for the Future of Money, Governance, and Law on the 31st of January in Washington, D.C. As far as we know, this is the first time a leading crypto asset thought leader has been invited to speak on U.S. Capitol Hill. We've included uh, the EOS IO resource allocation proposals, links to the grant program, link to EOS IO 2.0 release candidate 3, and a link to the money governance and law in the notes. So moving right along here, Wax Nation community updates. In December 2019, the Wax Guild ratings report has been released. The competition is heating up and ratings have changed a bit since last month. Wax Sweden has now claimed the top spot. Pink.network surged to the number two spot. And EOS Nation rounded out the top three. Congrats to all the guilds that earned a passing grade. Uh, I would like to say thank you to the Wax office of the Inspector General for spending 60 hours to properly evaluate all the guilds. The results of this week's OIG report are now also reflected in the Wax guild rankings which you can look up in Block Explorer, such as wax.blocks.io. In other Wax news, the power of the EOS IO open source software continues to grow as on-chain compatibility makes it easy for dApps and products to deploy across multiple EOS IO networks. Diffuse, which we all love, was originally built on EOS mainnet, 
and is now also active on the WAX blockchain. Diffuse.io is a powerful suite of APIs for WAX dApps that allows developers to easily execute searches, stream real-time data, and push transactions to the WAX blockchain. Little side note here, uh, we appreciate Diffuse. I used it on the Token Yield project and wouldn't have been able to build that actually without Diffuse. So a lot of love to Diffuse project and team. WAX was also listed on Nudex recently, which now allows users to trade EOS for WAX on Nudex, which of course is the leading decentralized EOS token exchange. It was also listed on MarketCap.1, which enables users to compare the crypto assets to other EOS IO based crypto assets. Overall, this was a really great week for WAX and congratulations to everyone involved. Links include our, the December WAX Guild Ratings Report, Diffuse on WAX, WAX on MarketCap.1, and the listing of WAX on New Decks. Go check out the notes. The Liquid Apps team has released a lengthy article this week describing what they call, quote, unhackable, ungameable, immortal dApps. It's a fascinating article that covers a lot of information. We'll start by sharing a small sample of the article in hopes that our readers and listeners will be motivated to go read the full article. Of course, the links are in the show notes. So this is from the article, quote, the open source movement has stopped short of guaranteeing total freedom. Companies still choose to keep their data to themselves instead of sharing it with the community of developers and users. Developers can harness the DAP network, a powerful middleware platform, to decentralize their applications across the entire tech stack. From the front end to the back end to the data they generate, unhackable, ungameable, immortal DAPs can finally emerge. These immortal DAPs enhance a user's privacy and bolster data integrity, driving new business models for forward-thinking companies while granting maximum freedom to the average user. Now that's all from the Liquid DAPs blog post. And again, the link will be in the show notes. Continuing with Liquid Apps coming off their recent successful hackathon, excuse me, Dapathon, Multiblock produced a short video covering one of their products, Liquid Crypto, which was one of the crowd's favorites. The new Liquid App service allows developers to outsource heavy processing algorithms like ZK Snarks and blind signatures to DSPs or DAP service providers. They also spoke about other multi block projects called Project Phoenix, a Patreon like application coming soon to EOSIO that's using a multitude of Liquid App services such as Scheduler, Oracles, VRAM, Liquid Account, and more. For those who want to learn more about Multiblock, we encourage you to watch the 40-minute interview they did recently with Zach from Everything EOS. Of course, links in the show notes. So let's move on to some ecosystem updates. Dach EOS, and I apologize if I'm mispronouncing that. It's a German word. So learning about blockchain and EOS IO in particular can be challenging for people completely new to the subject. We all know this. It's challenging for people who are vetted in the subjects. Most of the educational content is only available in either Chinese or English. In order to grow the community, it's important to lower these language barriers, and DAH EOS defines its mission to make sure information about EOS IO is available in German so that people in Germany, Austria, and Switzerland get an easy and welcoming entry point into the EOS IO ecosystem. We're proud to announce that EOS Nation's own Martin Breuer is part of the team behind DACH EOS, along with representatives from Nudex, Telos Germany, EOS Cafe, Generios, Wombat Wallet, and other independent EOS IO enthusiasts. The website is dach-eos.io, and that's spelled D-A-C-H-E-O-S.io. They were founded with the vision of being an intermediary and provider of knowledge. As an advisor initiator, and ambassador for EOS, for other EOS IO-based networks, and for decentralized applications built on top of EOS IO blockchain. Founded in July of 2019, they had their first live offline event on October 3rd in Frankfurt, which was followed by the website launch in November. The shared website serves as an ever-growing knowledge base for all things EOS IO for the German-speaking community and invites like-minded enthusiasts to participate. 
Moving along, Everpedia partners with Give Nation. After partnering with the Brave Browser, the Everpedia team just forged yet another partnership, and this one aims to educate the future generation of blockchain users at a very young age. Give Nation is a gamified wallet for children focused on teaching sustainable financial literacy and altruism. Give Nation will feature Everpedia pages that are deemed age appropriate for their audience and will also be the first outside organization to build a custom front end that interacts with the IQ network. This will enable young people to not only learn about the financial system in a playful way, but also about the value of information and how they can potentially contribute to the decentralized knowledge database of the world. Furthermore, Give Nation will be uploading their lessons to Everpedia. Quote, we're looking forward to building a new ecosystem with Everpedia. This will be an essential piece of Give Nation's media infrastructure, empowering millions of children around the world. States Arnold St. Paul, the CEO of Give Nation. We congratulate both teams for this great collaboration. Check the notes for the Give Nation article and the website, givenation.world. Now, Emanate welcomes Chun. That's C H O O N. We're happy to report that Emanate just agreed on a friendly merger with Chun, 25,000 users and 40,000 songs, a similar music platform featuring blockchain based payments to music streaming. Chun artists will be assisted in migrating to Emanate in the first quarter of next year, 2020, and Chun artists who held notes, the native token of the platform, before the Tune site closed will be given a token swap offer. But to be fair to emanate token holders and encourage the EMT token economy, this won't be a simple handout. Read more about the token swap and the article linked below, where we also learn about some great new features and programs planned for emanate in 2020. The, quote, new distribution service enabling emanate songs on the likes of Spotify and TikTok plus up to 100 other streaming platforms, unquote, has certainly caught our attention. Congrats to Emanate for your continued progress and success. Start EOS Acorn, this is a project by the Start EOS team, which they've been working on many fronts to grow and maintain the user base of EOS. The Acorn project has created a practical product for EOS token holders. It's an easy-to-use digital asset management platform that helps users stay profitable by doing things like calculating interest earned beforehand. It comes with usual security that Start EOS wallets have been proven to provide, and we really enjoyed learning about the new feature called, quote, Flourish Wishes function, which helps users save up assets until they've reached a certain goal to make a wish come true. We've listed a link to their explainer video in the notes. So EOS events ranking, EOS Authority shared a summary of events listed in their EOS events calendar, and we're happy to see that EOS Nation has been ranked number one for hosting the most online events since the creation of the page. In total, there are 120 online and offline events registered, and we're confident that we'll see that number increase in 2020. Why? Because we know for a fact that there are many additional EOS IO events that weren't listed by their host, and EOS Nation will make sure to list all of our future events to keep track. We encourage all other EOS IO event organizers to do so as well and token holders to join the EOS events telegram channel and never miss an EOS IO event online or in a city near you. For now, we congratulate Sheeple, Everything EOS, Block One, EOS New York, and EOS Brazil for making it into the rankings with us. Great work. We've included links to the EOS events page, the EOS authority tweet, and the EOS events telegram channel. Speaking of events, one of the first EOS IO events in this new year might be the Crown Dacathon 2020 on January the 11th and 12th. Decentralized Autonomous Organizations or Communities, DAOs or DACs, was a term coined by Dan Larimer in 2013, and so it should come as no surprise that EOS IO is designed to be the perfect protocol to build such organizations on. Crown is an already existing example and funded by one of their worker proposals. The DACathon 2020 aims to bring DAC enthusiasts from all over the world together to share knowledge, experiences, and passion 
with the goal of accelerating DAC adoption and tools. The event is online and all are welcome to participate. Really great way to kick off the new year. Check out their teaser video in the show notes, the Crown website, and the DACathon 2020 sign-up page. That's DACathon.com. Sebastian Vanderlands from WordProof, the CEO of WordProof, gave a very interesting presentation at a meetup organized by Blockchain Netherlands dedicated to blockchain timestamping. While the whole presentation about current issues of the internet and potential solutions is worth watching, his key points about why timestamp matters are the following, and I'll I'll, uh, summarize a couple of them for you. Number one, with an open source platform like WordPress, publishers and merchants become resilient against censorship. So you can timestamp your data and own your data and have confidence and transparency around that. Number two, timestamping content on the blockchain creates a proof of existence, like a birth certificate for data. Number three, timestamped content is verifiable by any human, such as a reader or a buyer, in an open source manner. And number four, timestamped content is verifiable by any machine, such as search engines or social media, also in an open source manner. Sebastian give us an outlook of what we can expect from WordProof in 2020 as well. And we're happy to hear that. Besides working with more projects and partners on WordPress, they also plan to extend their services to other website building platforms like Joomla, which is currently the second largest uh, CMS after WordPress. An internet of enhanced data integrity is a much desired goal. And with effective yet user-friendly tools like WordProof, It's in the hands of content producers to reap all the potential benefits of simply using it. We've included the presentation video um, as well as the slides and an article on Sebastian's website, sebastian.blog, on why timestamp content on the blockchain. Moving forward, Tippet dashboard and tutorial. So Tippet has been a very innovative when it comes to micropayments and tipping EOS-based tokens for content producers or participants on various social media platforms such as Telegram, Twitter, Discord, Facebook, Twitch, and more. With the new Tippet dashboard and its new features such as user profile pages, Tippet transaction history, and a chance to attach links and pictures to a transaction, tipping has gotten even more interactive and makes it fun to use crypto. Watch the new tutorial to learn more and check out the website to open a Tippet account. Again, that's tippit, T-I-P-I-T dot I-O. Last and definitely not least, an Upland update. The EOS VC funded game Upland has been in public beta for a while and has made some great progress. Players move around the map and collect properties in the form of NFTs and earn UPX tokens if other players visit, kind of like Monopoly with a lot of other bells and whistles. The new Block Explorer makes navigating in Uplands easier, and the reworked property details card lets you keep track of all the visitors among other details. Until recently, every user was automatically an Uplander, but new players to Upland will now start out with a visitor status and need to renew their Upland visa once every seven days to maintain ownership of their digital assets. To become an Uplander and enjoy true ownership of your digital assets, visitors will need to accumulate a net worth of 10,000 UPX tokens. Learn more about these features and others in the release link below. And who knows, maybe we'll meet you soon in Upland. The game was just released for iOS in the Apple App Store recently. All right, that's all for this week. I uh, appreciate you listening to the EOS Hot Sauce. Remember, EOS Nation is currently a top 21 block producer on the EOS Public Network. They earn inflation rewards based on the percentage of tokens staked towards them. These rewards are reinvested into the EOS IO community, tools, and infrastructure. Help the team grow the ecosystem by staking your vote to EOS Nation FTW for BP or proxying to Proxy for Nation. It's been a real pleasure to do the EOS Hot Sauce this week. I'm your guest host, Ash Oro. Tune into EOS Radio as well on Wednesdays at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And until next week, keep it spicy.